Hi everyone, this is Shelly with Life Creates Art and I am so excited about this video today because I got a text from my sister-in-law and I was so happy to hear from her because she wrote to me and said, uh, do you have any videos of how to very basically start painting because I want to paint like you, I need to paint. And so I was really happy to hear that. So I said to her, the beginning of this week, I'm gonna make a video, it's gonna be just for you. And so for those of you out there who just want to know what you need, you, maybe you go to Michael's and you see all of the, the aisles filled with paints and brushes and you get really overwhelmed, well, I went to Michael's, I took videos, and I'm gonna tell you just what you need, bare minimum, to get started with painting. So let's get started, okay? Bare minimum, here's what you need to get started with acrylic painting. So number one, you need something to paint on. You need a canvas. Okay, so they come in lots of different sizes. Now, when you go to Michael's, you're gonna look and you're gonna see lots of different options, tons of different options, different sizes, big, small. I would say start small. They have, now this is a, a small one. This is about 11 by 17. This one's black. They come in black, they come in white, but I would say start with a basic white. Now I got this clump of five for 10.99. They were on sale. I love this size. It is a 16 by 20, and that's the size I started with. And uh, so start very basic, start very small, maybe with an eight by 10, and do something, paint something you love on that canvas. Always start with something that you love. But the canvas themselves are already coated with uh, the protection, the, the gesso coating. They're already painted, but if you're going to continue to paint and you're going to do this more professionally, uh, then this is not something you need at the beginning, but gesso is something you will need as you continue. It's called gesso, but this is not something you need at the beginning. Don't worry about it. But once you start, give your, your uh, canvas a nice, coat of, of some, maybe some white paint, or just jump in and get started painting and start having some fun. Okay, so canvas, you will need a canvas. Number two, you're gonna need paint. Now, uh, again, you go to Michael's and you see this beautiful wide variety of all these paints and they tend to be kind of expensive, but you don't know which colors to choose. Even I go there and I'm like a deer in the headlights because I wanna buy all of the colors. So if you're just getting started, start with this basic pack. It's just got the basic colors and you can mix the colors to make new colors. Now, what I would say is get this basic pack and get a few, maybe two or three more of your favorite colors and just add on to it. But as you move on, there's lots of different brands that you can get. You know, there's the Artist Loft and lots of different colors with Artist Loft. There's also the Liquitex. There's ones for a little more professional. There's Liquitex Basic. Uh, there's the uh, Windsor Newton. All different kinds of brands that you can choose from, different prices. But right now, you're just wanting to start off with a basic pack and just to get you started. That's what we're looking for. And so next, number three is a brush. Obviously, brushes. You're gonna need to brush. So they have two different sections of brushes. One is going to be the section that is in where the more professional paints are. And you're going to see uh, loose brushes where the people like me that, are, that have been painting for 30 years are going to be looking for specific brushes. I go in there, I look for very specific brushes. And sometimes I buy the pack of brushes. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look for 
a pack of brushes and some more of the basic ones. So what they're going to do, and I'll take a picture of some of these that I have here. What I want them to include is a little bit of a square brush, a little thinner brush, maybe a longer brush, something a little thicker and a thin brush so you can do a little more detail. I'll take a photograph of these and put it on the video so you can see. But your pack should include a variety of sizes. And then there's a second section over in the, the crafting side where they have these types of paints like the apple barrel paints and all of those. Now, they also have brushes that are in packs. Those tend to be a little less expensive, and but they're more for crafting. And those paint packs are totally fine too, but again, they're more for a little bit more of the crafting side. But uh, whatever you wanna do, if you want to even buy some of these paints when you're just getting started painting, that's fine too. I even use a little bit of these paints in some of my paints, but the ones that I'm uh, selling professionally and things like that, I usually tend to go with more of the professional paints. So these are okay to get started, but you, you have to also think of longevity for your art. If you want it to last for your children and your grandchildren, then you have to consider a little more expensive uh, paints. But again, if you're just getting started, just get some brushes and have some fun. So now you, we covered the, the canvas, we covered the paint, we've covered brushes. Now you need something to wet your brushes in because you do need to take your paints, put it on some sort of palette, which we'll talk about, and you're going to need to water it down just a little bit with some water. I suggest that you have not just one cup, but two cups. And the reason I suggest that is because you're going to take your paint and you're going to dip it to clean your brush in one cup, and then you're gonna to wanna to completely cleanse your brush in a second cup. The reason I have two here is because this cup here has been around for at least 10 years. That's how long you can keep your cups. I've had this cup so long, it's even broken. This one, you can get it 99 cents at Dollar Tree. Just before I did this video, I sent my son, I said, go get me a cup so I can show everybody. You can get it at 99 cents at Dollar Tree. And there you go. You can get a water cup for a buck. So uh, it's super cheap, super easy uh, for your water cups. So get two of them and completely clean your brushes. Otherwise you will taint the paint that you dip in next in your brushes. Uh, now, your palette, those things that you put your paints on, you can use, uh, they have palette paper, they have different palettes, you will see at Michael's, I have pictures of those. And I have my palettes, now I'm really, really bad about my palettes because when, and you can see my palettes here. And the reason I'm really bad is because when I'm done painting, I am done. <laughs> and, and I usually will get up, clean my brushes and walk away. And so I, although I try to use up most of my paint, I'm, I sometimes am really bad and I have to just walk away from my painting and leave it. And so oftentimes my paint dries on my palette and I can't get it off. So I use a ton of palettes and these are not that expensive, fortunately, but I tend to not really get these palettes very often. So what I do is I found these at Target and they're these little plates, they're 79 cents, and I use a lot of these. And I can just throw them away when I'm done. And the great thing about this is the paint often just peels off. So soak it in some water and I can just either scrape the paint off or it peels off the acrylic paint. I'm not talking oils here, I'm talking acrylic paint. And then you could also, now this is not a good example of this, but sometimes I even use paper plates 
Uh, if you're just getting started, you can use a paper plate, but as long as it's got a little bit of the wax on the uh, this side, again, this is not a good example because this is all I've had <laughs> because you want it to be white so you could see the colors of your paint, but this is the only color that I had. <laughs> so this is not a great example, but I wanted to show you paper plate and it's keeping me cool. So, <laughs> uh, but there you go. So palettes, lots of different options for that. Uh, then rags, you're going to want rags, uh, paper towels, whatever, close to you to clean yourself, to clean your brushes. I'm a very messy painter. I get paint all over me. So these rags obviously have been around for a long time. This is a, an old towel. I think it was a hand towel in our bathroom a long, long time ago. And I just picked it up and started using it as a paint towel. And so it's been with me for a very long time. This is a couple of rags. I think I bought the rags at, I think at Home Depot. You could buy a big pack of rags at Home Depot. And uh, it's not that expensive, but you get a ton of rags and we use the other rags for cleaning or something like that. I grabbed a couple for painting or paper towels. You know, we get our paper towels at Costco and all of that's great for cleanup, but have those nearby for sure. Next, you're gonna want to cover your table. Now you can see here, uh, can you see there? I grabbed an old sheet. This sheet, uh, I don't think you can get a, an idea here, but I've got tons of art on our dining room table right now because I'm working on several projects right now. It's covered in paint and it is a, an old sheet, an old top cover sheet, and it's just covered in paint. And I sacrificed the sheet for the sake of art, but, there's other options that you can do. You can use newspaper, of course, uh, if you're okay with getting some of the ink rubbed off on you. Or again, Dollar Tree, something I had my son pick up. Uh, this plastic table cover, just uh, for a buck, you can uh, protect your table, protect your workspace and cover that. Be sure you have something that is protecting your workspace. Now, Last but not least, something you do not necessarily need, but you can get. There are easels, little table easels. I did not start with an easel. When I started to paint, I had my canvas just simply laying on a table. So when I started to paint for a long, long time, this is how I was used to painting like this. So it actually took me quite a long time to get used to painting like this then. So it's up to you really what you want to do. The table easels are on sale sometimes at Michael's, maybe $10, sometimes $15. And you can set them on your table, under your table covering. Then I eventually transitioned to my other easel, which is over in the kitchen that I had for many, many years. And I painted it and everything. I mean, we're talking like 25 years that I had that easel. And it has a lot of paint and a lot of great memories on it before I bought uh, my new one. So... Uh, easel, you can go with it or go without it. Just paint on your table. So very, very basic things. You need a canvas. You can paint on rocks, paper, wood, glass. It's up to you. You can paint, uh, you need paint. You need your brushes. You need your water cups. You need your palettes or your plate. You need paper towels or your rags. Don't forget to cover your table and don't forget to cover yourself. I forgot that. As far as your table covering, don't forget to cover yourself. Here is my apron that I've also been using for many, many years. Both sides are covered in paint. And also easel or just paint on the table. So very basic. Don't get overwhelmed when you go to Michael's. Just look for the very, very basics. But the big 
big thing is when you get started painting, paint something you love and you will get hooked. When I started painting, my grandfather painted, he did oil paintings and he did stuff that he loved and it was stuff I was not, I was not interested in at all, but I wanted to paint. And so he gave me his paints, but I started with acrylics. And the very first thing that I painted was a portrait of my first child. And what I did was I got, I looked at this calendar that had this couple. Now this couple was cut off. It didn't have the heads of the couple, but they had a, a child laying in their lap with a little open Bible in their lap. So I painted the couple with the Bible, the child, and then I put the face of my firstborn son in replaced in that photograph. And it was beautiful. I'm going to work really hard at trying to find a picture of my first portrait. I was uh, about 24 years old. And so that was many, many moons ago. And uh, I just, I was hooked from then on. And uh, so paint something that you love. And if you can't find it, I've got a, a video on just stimulating your creativity. And so watch that. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Very, very basic. Don't get overwhelmed. Just start with the very basic. And if you have any questions, please write them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like my videos, please comment. And uh, I want to hear from you. And so hope you all are doing well. And my dear sister-in-law, get painting. And all of you get painting and get creative. And I love you. This is Shelly with Life Creates Art signing out. Bye. I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs>